Hey guys, I just want to say that I've been changing my life for the better. And over the last like three months now, since I've started YouTube, my entire life really has like flipped in, in a good way, you know, not in a bad way where it's like flipped upside down and everything's falling apart. No, no, that was last year. That was last year, guys. I'm over that. I am in a new era and I'm ready for it. I'm ready for complete growth. I'm ready for the grind. You know, I'm ready for the grind season. And the grind season is, I feel like an elephant in the room because everyone has their season. You know, everyone has their grind season where they dedicate either money or their career, whatever they're focused on, that is their grind season. Okay, it could be, it can even be just getting healthy you know, eating healthy foods, it could be changing your diet, it could be going for a walk or a marathon, training for a marathon, it could be something that's changing you as a person, you know, it could be, I don't want to say simple, because it's not simple, changing your life is not simple, and it's not meant to be something easy, or it's supposed to be a little difficult, okay, it's supposed to be challenging, not difficult, challenging, challenging enough to grow from it and to change you, to change your life. I recommend either putting it into your body, health, or your mindset. Like if you take a class, learn something new. Like if you were to take, let's say boxing classes, like if you're interested in boxing and you watch it all the time, like go take some boxing classes, go take some karate. It takes at least a month for you to really flip your life around and to change your your drives like what drives you you can change what drives you in a month you can change everything about what you're motivated by in a month like what are you motivated by right now okay it could be money right that that's that's everyone's main motivator right like especially in this economy everyone needs money to do something so the motive for money is always going to be there but you need something else with a little more substance to grab onto for your personality to really like, you know, to wake up every morning and be excited. That's a change that everyone wants. Like if you are going, if you're waking up just thinking about work, I mean, you know, that's great. You know, you get into the job, getting the job done, that's a grind season. But if you're not, if that's not the main goal, if you have different goals in your life, like you can totally flip your life around. Flip your life around and you can focus on a certain part of your life. Like finances. Okay, I want to talk about finances because that's, I feel like everyone's forte. Like I'm about to head into my grind season for money, right? Are you in your grind season for money or are you in your grind season for health and your body, diet? Are you, are you in your grind season for making friends? Are you in your grind season for having fun? Are you in your grind season for learning something new? Like, what do you tell yourself your grind season is? I feel like the majority is money. The majority is finances. The majority is just getting a job, saving your money to a certain, to a certain amount. You know, you got to save money to a certain amount for you to feel like you hit a goal. But it's like, what happens after that goal? What happens after you hit that money goal? You know, because that's, it can flip your life around, but what are you going to put that money towards? You know, what are you going to invest in when you get that money? After that grind season, are you going to invest in more money? Are you going to invest in a house? Are you going to invest in your body? Are you going to invest in your mind? Like, think about that. It's almost like we acquire this tangible this tangible item like money and we can literally invest it into anything and it'll spawn into our our personalities you know what drives us like like if you if you get up to 10k in your account right you have 10k in your account and you want to buy a car you want to buy a car right your car is going to be what drives you <laughs> literally right literally not an analogy not literally but the car is going to be what drives you to get that money when you get the car the car itself either you pay for it or you're paying 
payments monthly, whatever you're doing with the car, however you pay for it, it's still that driving factor in your life because you bought that car, it's yours, you earned it, it's part of your persona, it's part of your drive, it's part of who you are because you've earned it and that's like change is flipping your life, flipping your life around. For me, I would like to buy a car. I would like to buy a decent car, okay? I, <laughs> I bought my first car when I was 18. Yeah, 18, 18, 19, probably about to turn 19. I did not do my research, guys. I did not do my research. I got a POS. Okay, it wasn't a POS for a couple years, but it became a POS. And I'll tell you right now that it was not a Toyota. It was not a Honda. It was not a Hyundai. Hyundai. It was not. It was Ford. It was a Ford Focus. It was a Ford Focus car, okay? I bought this car when I was 18, 19 years old because I just wanted a car. I just wanted a car to drive me around and I wanted to say that I bought myself a car, okay? This is what flipped my life around because once I bought this car, okay, it created that sense of achievement. It created that, so, that sense of freedom of individuality. You know, I was 18, 19 years old, like driving, driving my car. But it created problems in my life because I don't have that car anymore. I do not have the car. It is a POS. It does not drive. Okay. I got rid of it. It's, it's getting rid of. It's done. It's out of my life. So, long story short, I just, I feel like a car itself, you know, it's great to have, but it's not the complete answer because I still need a car. It's not my full personality. To change your life in a whole flip, I feel like it has everything to do with a balance in what you want. Like if you just put all your money into into one thing, like a like a lotto ticket, you know, it's almost like you're playing the lottery in your life. Like if you put all your chips into one thing, like a car or a house or just your body or invest in a certain career, a certain job, like you can put your chips into one basket. But like the the possibilities are very you know, I feel like there's two arguments to this. Like, obviously, if you put all your chips into one basket, you can definitely invest into a long-term really good thing for yourself. But I also feel like there's balance with it. There's balance with what you can do with your money. There's balance with what, how you can play your money. Because it's, it's literally like playing life. You know, where are you going to put your money at? What options? You've got options here. It's either you're single, you're in a relationship, you're not looking, or you are looking, or you're just trying to find a, an apartment. You're just, trying to, you're just trying to move out of your freaking parents' house. Like, if that's your goal, that's a whole life flip. You know what I'm saying? It's really about understanding your goals. And me bringing up my car, it just solidifies that my foundation with getting that car was already not there. I didn't know why I really wanted that car. All I knew was that I just wanted a car to feel better about myself. It didn't flip my whole life around. It did in the first couple years, okay? It's not a long-term effect. You have to think, what can your money invest in for a long-term effect for yourself, for yourself, okay? Now, if you're a parent, you can put your money into kids. You know, that's great. Put it into like a savings account for them for college or even just buying them a play set for them to have childhood memories. You need to realize what money really can do for you, how it can really change your life. My life is changing because I'm moving from one apartment to the next apartment. That's what's changing in my life, okay? And I take this as a big shift because I'm a very, I'm a very visual person. I'm like, if I'm in an environment all the time and I cannot change my environment, I will literally go depressed. I will go so depressed, like I'm, a, like I'm a shelter animal, like I'm in a shelter. Like if I don't move, if I don't change my surroundings, if I don't change my environment, I will literally like, I don't, I can't, I cannot. 
So this is a totally like different, different type of goal. If you're just trying to move out, that's what I'm doing. Like we, it is a different era. It's a different mindset. And you change like your drives. You change what you're focusing on because that's, it's different. It's new. It's exciting. And for me, changing apartments is exciting. It really is. It's really exciting for me because I get to move around my furniture. I get to buy like some new things so that my house is like my home. I get to adventure around the new area. I get to, you know, make new friends around the neighborhood and to introduce myself to a new, like just new area. And I'll be a new type of person. I'm still going to be Kira, but I'm going to be a new, I'm going to have a new drive. You know, it's going to be a different type of drive for me. And I'm really excited for it. So if you're trying to change your life around, if you're trying to flip your life, realize what your money really can buy. Like it, it can buy all sorts of things. It can buy so much. But understand the long-term effects. Like if you just want to buy some clothes, great. If you want to buy a whole new wardrobe, great. Understand how you can keep the longevity of that. You know, like don't put it all into one basket. You can, you can utilize money in so many different ways. I mean, I'm not going to give money advice, financial advice, no. But financially, I'm not the most well off. I'm not. So I'm not going to sit here and tell you like what to do with $10,000. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what to do with your money. But for me, moving into a new apartment is just, is everything. Change your environment. Like changing your environment is a lot for me and what could be a lot for you is buying a house buying a car getting your diet right buying a gym membership you know like it sounds simple it sounds stupid but the investment changes your life it changes it changes a lot and I would love to wish on everyone that you can just change your life. You can change your life in a day. You can change your life in a month. You can change your life in the amount of time that you give yourself to change your life. And it could be a new job. It could be a new location. It could be a new apartment. It could be a new, a new coffee you try. You know, it could be something so new. Just try something new. Try something new and see what your money really can invest in. Changing your life can be really exciting. And I... I'm really excited. I'm really excited to move. So I just wanted to express a lot of like just exciting new opportunities. Like just I just wanted to motivate people. I want to motivate you today. Motivate you to change your life because you can change your life in a second. You can change your life in a single decision you make. So if you ever feel you're stuck somewhere, you ever feel like you're just in this grind season, like grind season is meant to be over when you say it's over. Grind season, you know, grind season is not just a season. For most people, it's like every day, okay? Most people, it is every day, and sometimes it has to be like that. But for me in my life, I am so lucky to be able to say I'm in and out of grind seasons. Seriously, I'm in and out of grind seasons. And uh, acknowledging that helps me feel better. Because when I'm not in my grind season, I know I'm not in my grind season. But I'm not going to feel bad if someone else is in their grind season and I'm not. Because I know I'm not. You know, you have to tell yourself you're in a grind season. You're in a focus. You have blinders on. You're not distracted by anything because you're in grind season. So if you see everyone else around you having fun, spending money you know, doing what they want to do. Well, I don't think they're in grind season. You might be in grind season, but they are probably not because if you're spending money, how can you save money? And in this economy, if you're spending money, quite honestly, like, most likely it's credit. Okay, guys, we're all in debt here. We all have some sort of debt. 
And we just plan like we don't got it. We plan like we don't got debt because it's gotten to the point where people just want to live their lives regardless of the economy, okay? So it's either you recognize that you're going to be in a grind season or you're not going to be in a grind season. Either way, you can change your life. You can change your life regardless. Oh, I'm just excited. I'm excited to change my life because I've changed my life from making these videos. And my perspective has changed a lot. You know, I was in a really bad rut. If you go to my first couple videos, I was in a bad rut. I was not taking care of myself the way I wanted to. I was not focused on anything really important in my life. I was kind of focused on smoking weed and doing nothing with my life. I was being lazy. I was procrastinating to the fullest, fullest, fullest bit. And I put it all on camera, vulnerable. Yeah, go watch it. Go watch the video because it's reality. This is reality, guys. This is my grind season. This is my grind season. And my first couple of videos, I was not in grind season, okay? And you don't have to label it as a grind season. You don't have to be all like, because this is girl brain, guys. This is girl brain. Like I say, I'm a girl. I'm not a guy. So I'm going to continue with the girl brain with what makes sense to me. And I'm going to explain it how I need to because I'm, I want girls to watch these videos. Come on now. Like, if you're a girl watching this, please comment. But whatever. We out here. And I feel like what I say resonates with a lot of people. I really do. Because I'm very, I'm very observant. I'm very, like, I'm a people watching person. Mm. I just feel like everyone has the ability to change their lives. You know? And I just want to motivate you guys to change your life. Take that grind season serious. Don't, don't question why you work hard. Don't question why you continue to do the things you do if you don't see results. Because you'll see the results. You'll, you'll feel this feeling of change. You'll feel the feeling of excitement for something new. Like, you can do it. Grind season is exciting because you know what you want. You know what you're going to get. You're going to get there. And once you get there, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Okay. So whether it's a financial goal, like getting up to a certain amount of money, or whether it's a goal to get a car or a house, what, it's always going to be money first. Okay. It's always going to be money first. Grind season is always money first. And then it comes to grind season for the brain or the body, the health social like what you want in your life how can you flip your life around right now how can you flip it around right now could you start by recording a video and posting it on youtube probably probably maybe could you flip it around by texting someone you haven't texted in a very long time yeah definitely you can change your life like that yeah can you change your life by going to a different store and finding something new you can eat and you like it yeah something so little and stupid can change your life you never know who you're gonna meet never know what's gonna happen never know you know life has things planned for you that you don't even know so you might as well go figure it out and get to that grind season guys <laughs> okay that's it today I went a little random today, but I feel like, I don't know, I like, I like talking to myself, and if you guys like hearing me talk, then shit, I'm doing something good, I'm doing something great, doing something that's positive, something that can change your life, it's changing mine, so, thanks for listening, guys, <laughs> have a great day.